After the atrocities of World War II and the Holocaust, the UN was established to save succeeding generations from the scourge of war and to reaffirm faith in fundamental human rights in the dignity and worth of the human person. The UN must live up to these commitments now. We are rabbis for ceasefire. As rabbis, as Jews, our communities have directly experienced the horrors that led to the founding of the UN after the Holocaust. As a granddaughter of three Holocaust survivors whose entire families were murdered, saving succeeding generations from war feels personal. We are here at the UN in prayer and determination to support the UN to act for immediate, permanent ceasefire in Gaza and to demand that the U.S. gets out of the way of the U.N. taking urgent action to save lives. The United Nations General Assembly already voted with an overwhelming majority for ceasefire. But the United States is thwarting the efforts of the Security Council to take meaningful action to realize ceasefire. The U.S. is standing in the way of the international community taking action to save lives. We are here to remind the Biden administration, the world says, cease fire now! We are here because the UN is the appropriate place for meaningful action for ceasefire and accountability for Israel's war, war crimes. No, you know, we we are here to our, encourage all member states to reaffirm and to recommit the, the goals of the United Nations Charter and the Universal so, Declaration of Human Rights, offering not just words of solidarity with Palestinians, but meaningful action to save lives.